you hear the expression, God, I wonder what these streets would say if they could talk. Sarasota Street Talk is making the streets talk and we're recording what they're saying. So we're, that to me, that is what Sarasota Street Talk is all about. Sarasota Street Talk is to introduce people of the surroundings. We're literally right now, we're downtown Sarasota and we hear people all around us telling different stories. Those are the streets talking. Scotty, how you doing, my friend? Good morning, Mark. How you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Great. It's a beautiful day. Be it is a beautiful day, even though it's 51 fun-loving degrees. You really <laughs> wouldn't tell. I mean, the sun is out. There's there's nary a cloud in the sky right now. There's, there's not a cloud in the sky. No, it's no wind. Beautiful sunshine. Yeah, well, beautiful a little sunshine. bit of a wind, but not too bad. But it is, you know, January, so you got to have a little cool weather in January. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's even why here I'm, in Sarasota. That's why I've, lay I've got like 16 layers on right yes, now. Yes, you do. So I'm quite you're, warm. You're looking sharp. You're Snug looking as sharp. a bug in a rug. Yeah. So uh, here we're here at the Bazaar at Apricot and Lime, as we are on the third Saturday. I'm looking at Scott. He was trying to make sure it's correct. Yes. <laughs> third Saturday of each month. Uh, the Sarasota's first, second fourth and sometimes fifth saturdays if there are yep we're at the gator club and parker's books right downtown the farmer's market right down the farmer's market right downtown from the gator to, club parker's 10, to, books. 10 to 12 my name is mark klecka i'm a uh, agent a, a real estate agent at Cowell banker right downtown my partner in crime is scott mayloff mortgage broker in sarasota summit lending solutions yeah and together we're able to do this sarasota street talk that's you know just about the people it's about the streets it's about if you know, the streets of Sarasota could talk, what would they say? And uh, it is about the people downtown. They are the streets, and, and they do talk every right, day. Right, And, and we're and here to capture them. And sometimes downtown we're just grabbing people walking by. And that's primarily well, we have it. somebody scheduled, maybe. Yeah. But uh, the thing about coming here on the third Saturday is that the vendors here, um, we get to interview them. Yes. So it's kind of nice. A, Kim, Kim lines that up for us, kind of. And, what uh, a great segue, awesome, Scott. Man. What a great segue, because we do have one of those guests yes, here with do. us right now. Yes, we do. So, uh, yeah, if you wouldn't mind, please introducing introduce yourself. yourself and, and we'll talk about what yeah, you we'll do. Yeah, we'll talk about what you do. I'm Gordon Fushikoshi. I'm originally from Hawaii. I've been here about 20 years now, and I do shark art with fossilized shark's teeth that I've collected here in about seven beaches in Sarasota County. And I, I here at the Bazaar, I have a booth here. I'm opening up a new booth um, coming at the end of the month. Okay. So very, very cool. I know we saw it for the first time, so we did. We did. Uh, Kim invited us to do her, her Thursday uh, regular show that she does. That, for that she does live on uh, Facebook. Yep. Mm -hmm. And yep. And she picked, she, she picked, picked your, one of your stuff. pieces of art, and we yeah. were just oohing and on over it. I mean, that's fantastic. <laughs> what is Casperson's Beach? One of the beaches that you go to? That's one of the main beaches I collected. Yes. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. Casperson's is the main, the main I mean, one uh, of the main shark's shark teeth beaches. Place, right? It's harder after all the storms because everything's being covered now. All the teeth are being covered by sand, so could be being eroded away right. from the beach. Right. So, so do you go in there with the shovels and all that? And yeah, I, mean, the, I go snorkeling. I go in the water and sift the sand. Oh, okay. In, so you you mean business? Yeah, in the water. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's not messing around. <laughs> and how long so, have you been doing this? Twenty years now. Twenty years so, you've been doing the shark teeth. Yeah. Wow. Twenty years ago, it had a lot more teeth. Okay. Than now, yeah. What's the largest tooth that, that you've gotten in those 20 Two years? inches. Two inches? That's Yeah. I don't scuba, so it's more... Right, whatever snorkeling. washes up to... Snorkeling, up to, up to the sandbar. Up to the sandbar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if you wouldn't mind, just hold that up, please, yeah. and, so we can take a look at that. Yeah, yeah I saw that, and uh, I mean, that is amazing. That is cool. Really, how long does it take to, to make one like that? Uh, several hours. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I paint it, and then I... Clean so up the wood. What is the base? Wood? This, this is, is wood? burl burl wood. B u r l w o d o o d. But it's a type of wood that grows on many types of trees. It's just like a knot. Okay. A okay. Tree. Okay. So that's burl wood. Underneath is uh, resident animals, uh, shark animals, and then I paint them, and I uh, condition the wood. Okay. And I put on the teeth. So is the base of the shark, is it like an actual like toy shark kind of? It, the, the, it's a resin, a uh, resin, resin uh, form shark. Got it. Okay. Yeah, okay. made out of resin, yeah. That is very cool. Epoxy so resin. What, what is, so what is a, a piece like that go? Okay, there's another one. All right. Uh, yeah, oh, I like is, this one. This one has four cool. dolphins, so this is 98. But the white ones are non-fossilized. I bought those teeth. The black and brown ones are all self-collected here in, in Sarasota. Mm -hmm. so now, what's the difference between fossilized and not fossilized? Well, these are... 
off a, a live shark that they harvested and used the whole shark in the Philippines. Um, they eat the shark. They eat every part of the shark. They use oh, all so parts of it. They sell the jaw and the teeth and the teeth. Oh, got it. So fossilized ones, they can. They, I've learned from an expert that they can start fossilizing around twelve thousand years ago. So they can be from twelve thousand years old to about a million years old. Wow, so, but oh, that's a fact. Ones, I, not, I had no yeah. idea about that. Yeah, the smaller ones fossilize faster than the larger ones. Okay. So uh, sorry. So the, the darker they well, the darker they are, but when they are dark like that. Those have been 15,000 plus years? Yeah, 12,000 plus years. Wow. Yeah. wow. Black and brown. Black mainly. and brown. Yeah. That's amazing. And shades of tan. They have several different so, colors. So wh what is uh, one of the reasons why you think uh, Casperson's Beach is one of like the bigger beaches for shark's teeth? Is it, is it the currents? The currents. Is it the way it's... Na nature or where it's positioned. So all along that coastline south of Casperson and a little north, you'll find a lot of teeth. Lot of teeth. It's just yeah. Happened in the Gulf millions of years ago, there were a lot of sharks and a lot of whales that they fed on. They even fed on the dugons, which were the pre, uh, the ancestors to the uh, manatee. They were called mm -hmm. dugons, and they fed on them all through Florida. Oh, because Florida was 90% underwater a long time ago, so right. they came inland and fed on the dugons also. Right, the right. right. What what are some of the other? If you don't mind asking us asking, what are some of the other uh, beaches, beaches yeah. that you do go to for sharks' teeth? Uh, Venice, Plus, Minnesota, Englewood area. Um, I found them up far as north as Turtle Beach. Just you know, you don't find a lot, but you can find right, them in right. Turtle. So Beach. really, more southern, the more south southern, of, south, yeah. of south of us, south is primarily Venice, where you yeah, find Venice, Venice area in south yeah. in Englewood. Which, most That's of interesting. It's an hour. Away. That's interesting. It's forty minutes. It's not that far, but yeah, it's okay. we're talking <laughs> all the way down to Venice. All the way. Well, I was raised a long way. <laughs> yeah, I lived. In, I was raised in Venice, Sarasota so it's actually not. Yeah, it's <laughs> right. hopping to skip. <laughs> right. But now you know we're going to bougie now. <laughs> you know, we're living downtown, so it's like, oh my God, Venice. Venice. All oh, the way down there. It's not. It's I've, not very far. Yeah. I've not gone down there. So how often do you go then? Down there looking for recently. Teeth. I haven't gone in a while. The last you time have I have like a big stock, of right? It now? Pretty big stock. Yeah, yeah, I collected of pounds of them. Yeah, okay. 20 years ago, you could collect several pounds in a day. Okay, wow. so in I found out from this expert that I've known for a while, he just retired in 90 before 1993. The beaches were not um, renourished with sand, but they started that in 93 to renourish them for obviously the tourists coming here. They, mm -hmm. need, they need the beach area to, to enjoy the beach. Um, but prior to 1993, uh, that Casperson area was a fossil line. You could walk on the beach uh, and in right off the beach and get thousands of teeth before pre-1993. Okay. But since they re-nourish the beach, they get buried. So the fossil line's probably 30 feet under is what I was told, underneath the, on the beach side. All right, yeah. so that's not really kind of a undertaking that you do. Like you would probably want to go like 30 feet under to, to No, you don't it. go that far. But, but, uh, but also with the dredging and it, it coming in, I would that imagine that, that would bring in some teeth as well, right, yeah. from outside mm -hmm. as well. So that's, you know, that helps. probably just not as much, but yeah, still got some good stuff. It's wow, just the luck of the draw when yep. you go shark toothing. Okay. Wow, that's very creative. Okay, so you you have a uh, permanent place within the bazaar, right? You have a permanent booth I'm inside. I'm going to have one starting inside, next week. Starting yeah. next week. Okay. Yeah. Can you go ahead and uh, purchase online? Is there no, an online? I'm here just at the bazaar, right. and I do craft fairs around Sarasota and Bradenton area. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. And, and what's the name of your My booth? company name company? is uh, SRQ Shark Art. SRQ S Shark Art. Shark Art. Right. Okay. That's is cool. there uh, – someone who wanted to email you or, or call? Is, is there a – Yeah, a, I have an email address um, on my card. It's gfushikoshi1 at comcast.net. Okay. It's my name. Why okay. don't you spell that? If, so if somebody yeah. sees this and they like that, maybe yeah. they'll want to send you an email and find out how they can buy one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the best way is the bazaar. The bazaar. Come here. Yeah. Well, Come actually, visit. Yeah. Thursday, Thursday, Friday, 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 Saturday, 10 to 3. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those places are amazing. Like, yeah, it is. The stuff that Kim does here, I mean, guys, she's – the, the vendors, uh, the live music. I mean, she's got somebody with somebody coming up – was it this weekend? Yeah. Who's got, playing? Um, I know, I know uh, Blues Tonight. Okay, they starting at what time? Blues Tonight at 6. Mm-hmm. They have trivia on Wednesdays. Yeah, I hear there's a great crew that does the trivia on Wednesdays. <laughs> so we host the trivia. Yeah, we host so the trivia. It's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I heard. Self-promotion. Self rumor has it. Um, so that is 6.30 on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of and fun. And then they've got a talent show here Friday. Yep. That we're going to judge. Sponsored by us we as well. Judge. We're judging it. So. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. We're kind of here all Just, the time now. <laughs> and it's true, I'm sure, as you know, like dealing with Kim is amazing. So anything that we, yeah, awesome. we love yeah. Kim. Yeah. So anything that we can do. 
Although she doesn't sleep. I don't think the woman actually. I think she yeah. sleeps one hour a day. And then she I also believe. runs marathons. And then she'll run a marathon. And then, she runs a marathon. <laughs> and then she'll come back and open up the doors of the bazaar yeah. and, and, and then go to, and cook marathon. lunch for everybody in half. Place. She cooked lunch. Yeah, too. <laughs> what can't that woman do? I don't know. Okay. All right. So, well, uh, yeah. Anything else that you wanted to say? I mean, it's been great having you yeah, on here. Awesome. Thank you, you for want to tell me. everybody? No, it's well, our I pleasure. Enjoyed it, and you can come Let's down hold here that one up again. Oh, I do have a question. I want to see that real quick. I got a question. Oh, right, let's, let's, show cool. it, let's show it. Yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. See, that's very cool. And they're kind of a little bit springy. Is that kind of you've got them on? It's on a wire base, right? Kind of. Yeah, a wire base. Got yeah. it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's it's secure on there. It's yeah. secure. Yeah. It's not going to work. Yeah. Yeah. And that one you mentioned was like what ninety? This one is ninety eight. Ninety eight. Okay. Dolphins, yeah. This wow. one's uh, ninety eight too. Ninety eight. Very cool. Shirts, Very yeah. cool. And so, and so let's say we had a custom idea of something. Would you do custom work? Like, hey, I'd like to have seven sharks. I want it to be tall. Like, if we had a custom idea, was that something you would entertain doing? Or yes, yes. If somebody came to like, you with that. Yeah, I could customize if they want. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I have to... up to four sharks on one piece. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And four dolphins, yeah. All right. I also have a, a large megalodon shark t- uh, that's made out of megalodon teeth. Right. A large one. That sounds there. like bigger teeth. Well, that yeah. <laughs> yeah. sounds so, like those would be bigger so teeth. So today's Saturday, starting Thursday, this coming Thursday, uh, is that when you open up your booth here? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, starting yes. this Thursday. Awesome. And, yeah. So where will we be located within the... On the right side. On the right side as you walk in the, in the front. Middle, middle towards the middle area. on the right, yes. Okay, very cool. All right, yeah. so if anyone's down here, well, if anyone, because well, more Friday people Saturday. are coming here and discovering. More and more. Yeah. More and more. Yeah. Come down, take a look. up from when, you know, every, is, every week it seems more and more people mm-hmm. are here, you know, shopping and yeah, discovering the busy, place. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really just amazing cool. to me how many people don't know this is here, and it's just, it's our mission pretty much now just to go <laughs> and make sure people know this is part of downtown, and when you're done with the farmer's market, pop three blocks over, yep. come over here, take a look. Yep. Yeah. Gordon, thanks for being here. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you, you for having so me. much. Right. It a pleasure. Yeah, very, very nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, take have, care. Okay. Very cool. All right. All right. We see will you. see you in uh, in a few days inside. Yeah, It'll be inside. It'll be in there on Thursday, starting there on the right yeah. side as you come in. And this, see, this is what I love about going ahead and doing this here at the bazaar right. we get to meet all the, the all the vendors interesting people people that come in just looking around um it's always something new yep never boring no sitting next to a guy who's selling rum right now so oh my god I right to our left break i got to our break <laughs> i know scott's like got a little pang in it we're pang in his voice coffee rum no i'm just we got siesta key rum sitting right next door to us which you know it's kind of calling out to us um but yeah, we're going to wrap this up. Take a little break. Take a little break. We'll come back, we'll come uh, back uh, with our next guest. Right. Make All good right. choices. Make good choices, my friend. All right, take care.